Star Trek Voyager's Eye of the Needle gives us our first hope of getting home, which is a recurring theme in the series. While the interactions with the Romulan are interesting and peak hope, we know the crew cannot actually get home, or there's no show. What's truly at the heart of the episode is the desire to be heard and understood. The crew wants to be heard and understood by the Romulan and their families back home. But most of all, the doctor wants to be heard and understood by the crew. And this is why Voyager. Kess notices the EMH's sensitivity toward the rude treatment he receives from the crew. And when she brings her concerns to Janeway, even Janeway perceives the EMH as nothing more than a tool to use, not as something or someone worth respecting. Maybe the doctor should have been a cloud. Anyway, the awkward first true conversation Janeway has with the doctor is sweet and satisfying because Picardo's performance shows how unaccustomed the doctor is to being treated as a person with wishes and needs. Doctor, you were originally programmed to serve in a limited fashion during an emergency. Now you're being asked to do much more. You don't have the luxury of thinking of yourself as an emergency medical program anymore. You've become a full-fledged member of the crew. I see. I'm asking if there's anything I can do to help you. If there's anything you need or want, I'd like to see that you get it. What I'd like is to be turned off when people leave. I spend hours here with absolutely nothing to do. What if I gave you control over your deactivation sequence? I might like that. Anything else? I'm not sure. I'll have to give it some thought. You do that. At the end of the episode, he expresses a new name. I've prepared a list of things I'd like to see added to sick bay. Perhaps you could present it to the captain? There's one more request. Something of a, a personal nature. I would like a name. As we saw from Hugh in Star Trek Picard, a name gets someone an identity. It gets someone to be heard and understood. When others work to learn or pronounce our names correctly, we feel valued. And that's what the doctor wants and what he eventually gets. He is truly one of Star Trek's most developed characters, starting as a program and ending as a person. And this is why Voyager. I tried a new hamstring exercise, maybe I overdid it. But my workouts are about all that stand between me and a severe case of cabin fever. Lieutenant. I am the chief medical officer of this ship. If you have something to say to me, please direct this statement to me. If I see you in here again for an exercise-related injury, I'll have to discuss the matter with your superior officer. Yes, sir. You're fine now. You may leave. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. XBs, former Borg. That's what we call ourselves. A new name can be the first step to a new identity. I learned that on the Enterprise. We don't have designations. We have names. I'm Beverly. This is Geordi. Do I have a name? Do you want one? I'm Beverly. He's Geordi. And you... That's it. Hugh. What do you think? You. No, not you. Hugh. We are Hugh.